In this video, I'm going to show you how you can play Game Boy Advance games straight from your 3DS menu. In order to do this, we're going to create a Game Boy Advance CIA and install it using FBI. So all you need for this tutorial is your homebrewed 2DS or 3DS with FBI installed. If you don't already have that, I will have a playlist down below where you can get started. But anyways, let's get our Game Boy Advance games onto our 3DS. I'm going to have a link down below for this Google Drive page where you can download new Super Ultimate Injector. So just click download here and it should download a zip file. It's too large to scan for viruses so just click any download anyway. And you should see NSUI Beta 28 as a zip file downloading in the bottom left. And once it's downloaded just click it to open it up. We can close our browser. Now before extracting our zip file, we're going to create a new folder on our desktop and just call it NSUI and we're going to highlight everything in the zip file and put it into that folder just to keep it all nice and organized. And once this transferred on, you can exit the zip file, open up the folder that we created and here you will see new Super Ultimate Injector for 3DS, the EXE file. Just double click that to run it. Apparently, my Windows firewall doesn't like this anymore. I literally ran this program to test everything out, but this time it doesn't like it. So I'm just going to click run anyway. Now this is a safe program, so nothing to worry about there. And this should pop up. As you can see, this is not English. Archivo. So first we're going to change the settings. So if you go to Heramentes, <laughs> I'm not Spanish. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. And um, down here with the wrench. And where it says Espanol, just click it and change it to English. That'll just save us some trouble in the, in the future. We don't want to wonder what we're selecting. Press the bold garter right there and there we go. So just click yes when you see this and it should restart the program in English. And there we go. Now we got our English program running. As you can see, you can do all sorts of different injects through here but I'm just going to be focusing on Game Boy Advance. If you want tutorials on anything specific, some of them take different steps, um, but just let me know down below and I will make a video on that in the future. There's even PlayStation you can have forwarders for. Very cool. When you're ready, click on File, New, and then select Game Boy Advance. You can also do Game Boy or Game Boy Color, but we're doing Advance today. So I have a Super Mario Advance ROM right here. It's a .gba format. It's also Virtual Console. I believe those are most compatible. So we're just gonna grab it and drag it into the program. And, well, oh, unable to download image. You'll see what that's about in a minute. So press OK, OK. And if you wanna know how to get the ROMs, you can join my Discord and ask there, but I cannot show you in this video. And once your ROM is placed inside, we are ready to customize it how we want. So we have the option to download icon image, but unable to download image. So we're going to have to go and get our own image. So if you open up Google and you put in Super Mario Advance GBA, go to images and you should see the first one that comes up is the Game Boy Advance sort of cartridge box. So if you click on it, right click, save image as and press enter it can be a jpeg pmy uh, pretty much anything will work now we're going to load image from file if you go to your download you should see the image right there so load it up and in a second here it will give us a preview there we go so we have the option to fit image by width which is what is that right now or fit image by height so we, if we click on that it just kind of zooms out a little bit and you see the whole thing. So this is all preference, but I like the height, so uh, we're going to leave it like that. Injection method, we're going to leave it at GBA Virtual Console. This means we don't need any extra programs to run it. We just install the CIA and we can play. If we open this file, we can see RetroArch forwarders here. If you have RetroArch and prefer a forwarder, you can do that, but I'm focusing on the Virtual Console version. Down below you see ROM save type. This should automatically pick a save type for the game. Some of them might be different. And I've also ran into issues where it just doesn't detect a save type. If you run into that, I believe if you press show all save types, you can choose SRAM. That should work the best. But if it automatically detects it, just leave it as it is. And now we can move on to the banner as we don't want to change anything under the CIA header. 
So CIA banner, you can leave this. As you can see, it is the same as the icon. And again, you can customize it to fit by width or height. If you do by height, it fits the whole thing in, looks pretty nice. But we can also get a different banner. So if we pull up that same Google search we did, it comes up with this picture. It looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna right click on it, save image as, press enter, we'll close this back into the program. And then you can load image from file, go into your downloads and double click on the image you want. Again, not every game might have this, but Super Mario Advance does, so uh, let's use it. I'm gonna change it to fit image by width, and we get the whole banner there, so it looks pretty clean. Now that's basically it for the setup. If you wanna customize it farther, that's up to you, but that is all I'm doing for it. So when your ROM is set up, go up to Project, go down to Export CIA, and you can choose the directory here, but I'm just gonna send it to my downloads. So when you pick that, just click Save. And that was not my real doorbell, that is the sound of your CIA exported. So <laughs> click OK and we are ready to go. My, my dog just hopped off my bed to uh, go see the door. Oh my. <laughs> but anyways, we are done with the program so you can exit. You can save it again if you want and quit it. We can close the folder where the NSUI EXE file is. Where's Naruto? And once you've exported your CIA, we can insert our SD card or micro SD card, which depends which model you have for 3DS. And we can go into our CIAS folder. Now, if you don't have one, just create it, but we'll open it up. We will open up our downloads and you should see the CIA file right here. So just drag it into your CIAS folder. And that is all you have to do on the PC. So we are ready to head over onto our 3DS and get it installed. I will meet you over there. All right, we're over on our 3DS. And if you couldn't tell, you know, I really like Naruto. <laughs> if you want to learn how to get a custom theme, link down below for my 3DS modding playlist where you can find a video on how. But anyways, we're going to head over to FBI and load it up. And once you get here, click A on SD, go all the way down to CIAS, click A and you should see the CIA file we added. So go down to it and click A, and it's gonna give you the options to install it, install and delete, delete, and so on. We're gonna do install and delete because we don't need to keep it on our SD card after we install it. It's no longer needed, so it just clears up some space. So click A on install and delete, click A again, and it should install the CIA. Install finished, press A again. You can press the home button and new software has been added to the home menu. I wonder what it is. Super Mario Advance Nintendo. All right, so let's click it and open it up. That is what the banner looks like. It looks really cool. Even has the whole animation is in everything. So, and also the icon here, let me just, it's kind of small, but I mean, they're all small. I guess I could do this too. Yeah, Super Mario Advance. It looks really cool. But anyways, let's open it up and see if it works. Got to close the suspended software and let's open it up. It'll give us a warning. Hey, you can see my face. I don't have to worry about that because I have a face reveal out now. <laughs> Link down below if you want to see what I look like. But it'll take a bit to load the game and it'll give you a warning that closing the 3DS while playing the Game Boy Advance software will not put it into sleep mode. To end the game, press the home button and return to the home menu. But here we go, we can play Super Mario Advance. I played a lot of this game on my Game Boy Advance. Me and my brother love this. But anyways, you get the point. We now have a Game Boy Advance game on our 3DS menu. It was that easy. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you ran into any issues, comment down below and I will try to help you out. You can also join my Discord and get help there. If you want to support me, there'll be a link to buy a coffee down below. Ah, I fell off but of course that is not expected and all that I ask from you is that you like the video it really helps the channel out so anyways that is it for the tutorial thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video bye